Nelson and David Harrell coming to you here from the Pro Wrestling Report Studios on the eve of Bound for Glory. TNA Impact Wrestling's Bound for Glory coming to us from Japan. First time that event happening overseas. So it's not live? Uh, it will be live for some, but it'll be Memorex for others. Memorex for us. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline? That you got all this weird powder on your face. I didn't realize you... It's not powder. You, you wore makeup it's as well. Not, oh, you know, I'm trying to keep up with you, brother. <laughs> Never one me. I have. I crack. I don't know about you. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about the matches that have been announced for Bound for Glory so far. And, well, you know, I got to say, Dave, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed and confused by TNA's promotion or lack thereof of their biggest <clears throat> pay-per-view event of the year. They don't have to promote it. You know why they don't have to promote it? They're not selling tickets here in the States. Huh. Okay. Okay? So why invest your valuable TV time promoting your biggest pay-per-view if the fan base here cannot buy tickets? All right, let's talk about the matches. The X Division Championship will be on the line as Samoa Joe uh, goes up against Loki and Kaz Hayashi. Should be an interesting matchup. Samoa Joe, the big man in that match. He is, he is, and you, you got to figure Samoa Joe dropping the belt, the, the X Division title belt, um, to Loki. Loki is a tremendous talent, he one is, of my he, favorite he talents is, in this business. He's never made it. He is, uh, and, 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 limited, and, and, but he's and, got. And when I say that, yes, he did win the NXT. And he could have continued in WWE. But he did not. He chose not he to. He chose not to. Very um, headstrong is Loki retired for and, a short and, time. And this match will be fantastic for the Japanese fan base. They Absolutely. will love this. Lots of polite claps. Yeah, there will be. Uh, tag team grudge match, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, James whoa. Storm. Who do you think is going to win that match? James Storm, and uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, I thought you said Loki. I said Samoa Joe. Okay. Uh, James Storm, the great Sonata versus the great Muta, and Yoshihiro Tajiri. Always been a big fan of Muda as well. Can't move as well as he used to, but he can still move great in the square circle. Yeah, two Japanese legends against a guy Jing, the American, and uh, the guy that wants to be great Muda. You got to figure that Tajiri and Muda are going to dominate yeah. Storm. They have to, don't they? Yeah. Especially given its location. And they're going to dominate Storm because he is the evil American trying to brainwash their youth. Uh, the tag team uh, tag team match as well. Ta team 3D will go up against Abyss and Tommy Dreamer. Got to expect some weapons to be used in this matchup. I don't get it. You don't get it? I don't get it. What don't you get? Hasn't Team 3D been teaming with Tommy Dreamer on TNA Impact Wrestling the sure last have. few weeks? Yep. Well, it's a different market, you told me. It, is a, a, it is a different market. I don't get it. I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. It'll be a great, violent match. Uh, those four guys are great friends. Tommy Dreamer and, know how to work. and Abyss are going to, obviously, I hope they aren't friends come Blizzard Brawl because that's my match. But, it, yeah, it'll be interesting. Oh, I'm sure Abyss will crap but the bed. But let's face again. it, what did you say? I said, I said I'm sure Abyss would crap the, will crap the bed again. I'm sure he'll be the weak link wow, in that matchup. Oh, you're evil. You know, you're yeah, brave when he's not here. Yes, no. But you got to figure that with Team 3D going, in, going into the TNA Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame, that um, Team 3D, well, I bet it's all you can eat over there. Oh, my. That's John Panetta about that. <laughs> uh, it's a knockouts matchup, folks. Havoc versus Velvet Sky. <laughs> Velvo Holler. I don't know how it can be. How do you feel about Havoc thus far? I'm, I'm not, you know what? I don't get it. Big girl. She is a big girl, but they had Lady Tapa. She was a big yeah. girl. She could have done the same thing. Awesome Khan did the same thing. Um, I don't think Havoc is ready, but I think she's that Havoc's going to retain because she's a giant. She's the Godzilla in Japan. It's a series of TNA versus Wrestle 1 matches, ladies and gentlemen. Ethan Carter III versus Ryota Hama. TNA again versus Wrestle 1. Manic versus Minoru Tanaka. you got to believe EC3 is going to leave the victor. Manic will do the J-O-B in Japan. And then MVP versus Kazma Sakamoto. And that'll, be, and that'll be Sakamoto. See, that's why they're not promoting this. Because it's really a um, 
spot show pay-per-view for TNA Impact Wrestling. They don't have their world champion on, and that is Bobby Lashley nor Bobby Roode. Neither one's there. They no don't Hardys, have. They, no they don't Angle. have. They don't. Yeah, they don't have a Ken Anderson. They don't have a Magnus. They, they don't have their stars. Well, folks, that's Bound for Glory. It's Sunday on pay. Are you gonna order it? Absolutely not. Why not? Because I get a count. You do. Yeah, I'm broadcast journalist. Oh, you work with Meathead, and you get that gimmick. Who? You know, Ron. Oh. Uh, Bound for Glory, and uh, as you saw last week... I can't even be the booker on this thing because I don't know who some of these talents are. As you saw last week, ladies and gentlemen, on this program, our guest, WWE star and Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins. Well, David Harrow continues next week on the Pro Wrestling Report. A man from TNA Impact Wrestling for his very first time on this program, Austin Aries, the greatest man that ever lived, will be here in studio bring this for cape? a special interview. I hope so. I'm the only guy that wears a cape. That next week when primetime returns to my 24 Milwaukee and PWR show.com. In the meantime, for that one, this one, this is Damian Nelson saying thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy Bomb for Glory, and we'll see you next week for an all new edition of Primetime.